going on? Welcome back to the channel. Worst Happy Gamer here. Let's skip the pleasantries, guys. You know who I am. You know what I'm about to do. We've got a brand new hero to the game. Ayani, the Shaman of the Serpent. And I'm about to break her down real quick because she's ready to break that snake in half. <laughs> Jesus Christ, let go of that snake. Um, let's get right to it, guys. Um, so first impressions seems kind of cool. I like the artwork, artwork and I love that she's playing around with the snake here a little bit. Interesting. Don't know what she can do. Uh, I've gone ahead and I got her up to level 100 already. And that's the easy part. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to fuse her up. I'm going to go pretty quickly here until I get to about... Usually people start struggling at about purple plus four, I'm guessing, at this point now. Depending on where you are in the game. Hmm, if you're really, really end game like me, obviously orange is, is where you struggle. But let's just go here. You guys can take a look at what you need. Now we're at orange, we can go ahead one more. Orange plus one is where she will remain for now. Uh, we could activate the awakening as well. You know what, let's just go ahead, I'm just gonna activate it while we're at it. All right, let's wait on that. Okay, next up, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna break down her abilities. We're also gonna break down the abilities as I take her into a battle, but for now, let's just take a look and quickly see what she's all about. First one, her ultimate, and a little earlier I worked on her ultimate a little bit, as you can see, I got it to level 81. So let's see. Uh, she will summon a ferocious snake guardian to attack the enemy and cause magic damage. And then depending on the level of this ability is gonna determine the level of the snake. So right now, level 95 snake. And I'm guessing that's four levels above at level 100. Will be a level 104 level snake. Doesn't really say exactly how powerful the snake will be, how much damage it will cause. We'll see. We'll have to see when we take her into a battle. Second ability here, Divine Bludgeon. Hurls electrified rings to hit multiple enemies, dealing magic damage. Okay, that actually doesn't seem too bad. Third ability, Transmute. Temporarily turns an enemy into a harmless duck. Ugh, another... Another hero that will turn an enemy into a duck. Crowd control is good. It's always good. It's never really bad. So we're going to have to get this one to the highest level as well. If you we want it to work against our enemies, it's going to be tough. Fourth ability, chains. Magically binds an enemy, dealing damage over time and rendering the uh, target unable to move or attack. Okay, another crowd control. Two crowd controls. That's not bad at all, guys. Uh, not bad at all. Seems to be a good arena hero. Deals a total of 8,100 damage over time. Alright, so we're going to have to work on these a little bit to determine full power of Ayana here. And then let's take a look at what will be when she becomes awakened. Each time a small uh, skill is used, there is a 50% chance to summon a snake. Which attacks enemies with one of three effects. Poison, fear, or knockback. Wow! Mmm, that's pretty awesome. So every time a small skill is used, I'm kind of confused as to what a small skill refers to. I'm guessing it's not ultimate. Maybe it's one of the three other abilities that she has. So if she once she uses one of her three other abilities, there's a 50% chance to summon a snake. And we'll see what that is when she becomes awakened. But, all right, doesn't seem too bad. And I kind of like her abilities. Very, very cool and a lot of fun to use, I think. A lot of different possibilities for Ayani here. So I think the next step, guys, is to take her into a battle here and uh, really see how she performs. So let's go ahead. All right, guys, so I'm a man of my word. So here we go. We're going to go into slow motion battle here. And I want to break down all of his abilities for you so you can see him in slow motion and determine if you like him for yourself. So first off... He starts off with Divine Bludgeon, which is the second ability. He hurls some rings at the enemy, and he pretty much hits everybody. This is an AoE ability, as you can see. Bop, bop, bop. Hits everybody for a decent amount of damage. We do get a couple of crits there. But 6,800 the first two, and then 17, 18,000. That's a good amount for his second ability. And then he goes into chains, magically binds an enemy, dealing damage over time and rendering the target unable to move or attack. This is a good one. Crowd control, like I said, is always, always good for any uh, hero to have. The only problem here is we miss because of the ability level is too low. 
Don't forget, guys, your ability levels have to be at least the same level as your opponent or higher for it to work for a lot of these abilities. So that miss there, he sh then he gets or she gets hit with a big AoE there. Now I activate um, her ultimate ability here, Serpent's Guardian, and it's very basic. Summon snakes to deal magic damage. Now, as you can see here, she actually summons four snakes here. One, two, three, four, which is awesome. I mean, I thought it was going to be one giant snake, but it's actually four little miniature snakes. And now they not only are they dealing a good amount of damage here, as you can see, they're all dealing different amount of damage. It's one, 12,000, one, I mean, 1,000, 1,200, 6,000. It's all different, but they also soak up and take a lot of damage here, guys. And we skipped an ability there for a second. Uh, that's his third ability if I could go back a little bit here yes right here this is his third ability transmute which turns an enemy into a duck but also has to be same level or higher than your opponent for it to work so we missed that one as well uh, the snakes got silence which means that this is kind of like uh, planning ahead but if you're facing uh, Ayani here you probably can uh, figure out a way to work with those snakes but anyway, they get silenced there, and they take a lot of damage while dishing a lot of damage. And I can just imagine, this is going to be critical for arena battles, guys. I mean, not only do you have to deal with your opponent, but you have to deal with four extra heroes there, and they seem pretty powerful. So I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Now let's go ahead and let's watch this one without me slowing it down too much here. First off, I activate ultimate, summon the snakes, which is going to help me a lot to take a lot of the damage, as you can see. They're dealing. Now he goes into transmute. This one worked. Now we turn somebody into a sheep there, which is awesome. And then the rings. Boom. That missed again. Too low of a level. So that is the basically the attacks. Turn somebody into a sheep. The other one didn't work. The binding didn't work at all. And looks like she's about to die at this point now, which is okay. And then the ultimate. Is summoning the snake so all in all i like what i'm seeing guys and then she dies and look at that snake yeah snake is done they even added the x's on his eyes i love that so that's the battle sequence right there all right so there you have it guys that's a quick breakdown of the new hero here uh my impression is i like it i actually like her a lot i think she's gonna be very useful guys hmm Wow, I think that she's definitely one of the heroes there. You could see somewhere in the top of the uh, arena fairly soon. I mean, taking quickly here, something like Quakey. We already know what Quakey does, and uh, he's a beast. For a long time, Quakey was definitely one of the better heroes for the arena and still is. So, Ayane could definitely be something like that. So, that's it, guys. That's about it for this episode. That's about it for this hero spotlight. Hope you guys like Ayani. Let me know what you guys think in the comments here. And I think I will be probably making an awakening as soon as I can awaken Ayani here so you guys can see what that's about as well, all right? So for now, I'm going to end it off here. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, everybody. See you next time.